Once again, huge shout out to Panpanlan for providing a base team which I modified. Starting with the boss team, we have Creme Brulee, the best single target DPS, and works without 100% defense down and like scam teams. And then Lenzer, a really fucking good single target damage amplifier and bypasses debuff immunity, including bosses. To support those two, we have the best sustain options for Alliance. And for the Rebel scam comp, we have Rebel, allows the easy access to 100% defense down, and he's basically his own archetype. And if that wasn't enough, 60% vulnerability. Then we have Frost Queen as the damage dealer. She deals the most amount of AoE damage if targets are weak to debuffs, and she can disable enemies with Frost in case of mistakes. And then Donut to cap out defense down, as well as providing immediate defense down over Cavi, and extra crowd control. And my own cooking to replace Mango and Rockstar are White Lily and Elderberry. White Lily has better crowd control, can be queued on auto, some healing, and some damage, and Elderberry for my sustain for some wave 12 keys. You'll see my cooking. One of my first bits of tech is a way to survive the wave egg worm at low investments. I've noticed that the worm only does damage to the backline on its vomit attack, which luckily it only does once in a lifetime. So all I needed to do was swap out to a throwaway comp. As an added bonus, the worm has a few solid seconds of trying to burp out a non-existent cookie, giving extra time for Puff to heal up Financier, who's actually taking damage. Unfortunately, it's still not enough to get past Worm Deathless. I'll still need a little bit of tech before getting past the Worm Deathless, but at least I got past it. I remember that I used to stall out Wave 7 back in Master Mode to get Creme Brulee to accelerate under 3 ASAP, but I can't outheal the Poison in Hero Mode. As a solution, the Rebel Comp can chunk a lot of HP as well as sharing the Spider's defenses, and the one Creme Cast will allow him to cycle to accelerate under 3 before swapping out on Waves 8. Who the fuck edited this? Maybe I should give myself time to not need to wrap the captions of the video. But anyway, look at that damage. I could have taken down the worm in this cycle if I had held Krem's skill until Linzer was ready, but it doesn't really matter. And with that, Wave 8 has been cleared deathless. I messed up around here, but I decided to play it out anyway. And this somehow led me to my accidental greatest cook yet. By the way, you should subscribe. There's a lot of thinking that went into this video. At the time, I didn't know that I could crowd control Jane and stay in on my rebel team without dying. So my solution was to swap into Cavi to finish off the scorpions. And for the next wave... Use Sea Fairy Stun to create a workable opening to start crowd controlling the Kcons with Donut and Lily. I didn't end up needing it, however this just goes to show how much I theory crafted for this budget clear. Since I didn't have a Krem team to swap to, I just stayed in. There seems to be a lack of, you know, damage taken, which is when I realized It was for a different reason, but you get my point. Elder Fairy can completely negate Vampy's offense. Unless he doubles into a cookie. Which doesn't have a prism shard. 3.5 million HP left. That means I just have to raise my ice artifact, power up Frost Queen, and pray for Vampy to not double hit into a cookie. AKA, hero mode is close, since he's the last difficult wave.
This was my first time past Vampy, but I unfortunately lost Elder Fairy just before his takedown. And my team went with him right after. After dozens of attempts, enjoy the run slash clear slash guide slash whatever. Lily into Donut into Rubble is the most consistent way I've found to one-shot wave 3. Because of my wave 12 tech, I needed to be careful on wave 6 to make sure the lampposts don't chip too much health off the Elder Fairy. The aforementioned wave 7 swap tech. Don't know why I spilled there. The iframe made Pancake dodge the vomit so I had to wait extra to swap back into Krem. And that almost threw Financier's life. He is living on thoughts and prayers at this point. Luckily, the Scorpions didn't get too much off of Elder Fairy. Again, I needed as much HP as possible going into Vampy. Jesus must have really wanted my hero mode clear because I don't think I got doubled into once this run. I lost a really promising run to this stupid totem once. I took it down with Frost Queen's skill so she had her skill on cooldown for the next wave and I got absolutely destroyed by it. Birds are fucking scary. Like, if they're allowed to touch your cookies, your cookies are fucking dead. <laughs> this wave would have been so difficult if Strawberry Crepe was deep of immune. Good thing they aren't, though. What is it with my game mode videos and disappointing conclusions? Like, I reached GM3 by defeating a Bay team, and now this boss is so easy. Like, my cream puff died, and then you'll see that my Linzer also died, but it doesn't matter because Creme Brulee is still alive and he does more than enough damage by himself to take the sniper out. And as if that wasn't enough, it's fully debuff immune, so I still have like 
30 million damage in the tank from Frostbeak. Wait, so what do I do now? I mean, I'm done with hero mode. I'm done with Rina. Oh shit. Oh. Here's the damage, I guess, but like... Shit, what do I do now? What's even the point of all of this? What's the point of life? Hmm.